to start with in my consumer unit i will have an spd a surge protective diverter and i will have it at the start of all the gadgets in the consumer unit the main purpose of this surge diverter is to ensure that any fault coming from the grid will definitely be sent to the ground so i will have it at the start there a surge protective device is a device that monitors any surges you no know, any surges from the national grid so if at all there is a surge the surge diverter will definitely direct all of that uh, surge to the ground and that is why on that surge diverter there are three important connections the first connection is the face and the neutral of course then the other connection that is very very important there is the earth connection the earth connection ensures that all the charges or all the surge which happens uh, in the power line that is coming to your home actually is taken to the ground so you see we have the live and the neutral here and then we have the earth connection below here this earth connection is again connected to the earth bars which are located um as you can see there there is a, an earth bar there and on this other end i also have an earth bar there you see that that is an earth bar so if at all there is a problem then uh it will simply direct the charges all the way to the ground that is the purpose of that uh, surge diverter there so if you have you have it in your home then you don't have to worry because you know what the surges that may be happening in the national grid will definitely be taken care by this uh, device here which is very very important we normally start with uh, the circuit breaker which is rated high amps or high current for instance if in a home you have the cooker unit or the cooker circuit you will have it connected to a 32 ampere circuit breaker if you have an instant shower you also connect it to a 32 ampere circuit breaker or mcb and when we are talking about uh, a socket we will have a socket in the kitchen that is dedicated to a 32 ampere mcb a socket in the bedroom or let's say in the sitting room or in the living room which does not of course have uh, complicated appliances connected there or high powered appliances connected there we can have it dedicated to a 20 ampere mcb then we will have other uh, circuits such as the lighting circuit a lighting circuit is definitely dedicated to either a 5 ampere a 3 ampere or even a 6 ampere depending on the load of that light circuit it could be light but it is not lighter <laughs> it could be a heavy circuit or a heavy load circuit because there are some lighting fixtures which consume a lot of power or draw a lot of current from the circuit now having different circuits in the home dedicated to diff i mean having different circuit breakers or miniature circuit breakers dedicated to different you know uh, uh circuit breakers here means that in case there is a problem with that particular circuit then the specific mcb the specific miniature circuit breaker that is serving that circuit will trip therefore saving that circuit from any issues let's say we have a lighting 
circuit breaker that has tripped and it could be because that lighting circuit has an issue that is why that circuit breaker has tripped now let me uh, take you closer to my consumer unit so this is our such diverter this is our double pole or our dpmcb this is now what is very important in this circuit this is our rccb or the rcd ensures that it protects the circuits against an earth or a face earth leakage okay so if someone is receiving an electric shock if there is current flowing from the face all the way to the earth connection then you will have this rccb trip once it trips according to how i have wired it then supply to these mcbs which means supply to these circuit breakers will definitely be shut down okay meaning these mcbs will not receive any supply much as all of them might be on but as long as this is off let's talk about this first as long as the rccb is off then these mcbs will not have a power output because as you can see uh, the way i've wired here we have looped the face and the neutral and from this what what i have here is the incoming live and the incoming neutral from here which is a loop we have an output which now comes all the way down from here all the way to my main switch or my dpmcb and then from the dpmcb we have the output also which goes all the way down to my rccb that is how i have wired it so you have you see the neutral in coming in there the face in coming in there and then i have my neutral going out to loop the neutral bars here and so on this face side here on this uh, the live one i have the live connected to the bar see this bar here this bar once everything is on and i've connected remember we said that my circuit is not powered because of this lesson if i'm powered i've powered it on and i've accessed it here then it might uh you know uh expose me to danger because if these parts here are live and then i get in contact with them there is a problem there i will be electrocuted as well as if i short circuit these parts with this case here there is a problem because there will be sparking there and if i make contact between my body or my fingers and between the face and this up here there is a problem since we have this rccb and or the rcd that is here the output will go to our mcbs there if at all there is an issue uh, with the circuit then these are ccb will trip meaning all of these mcbs will not be supplied with power 